Aloha and welcome everyone. Happy Sunday. You got Aniela here coming at you live. I am a coach with the Be With Your Twin Flame program and we are going to continue a conversation we started on Thursday regarding holding a grudge. And now if you remember that conversation, that live video we did on Thursday, we're going to talk a little bit more as I mentioned in that video about the difference between holding a grudge, which is a victim mentality, versus having boundaries. Welcome, and I hope you all are enjoying your Sunday, staying safe out there, and enjoying this beautiful summertime that we have. Um, we are coming at you live right now, and I am very intrigued and very, what is the word for this? This topic means a lot to me because it taught me so much about the things that I viewed as <clears throat> being a victim and the things that I viewed as learning how to take charge of them in which we call what we're gonna talk about today, boundaries. So when we're talking about being a victim, on Thursday I did a live video regarding holding grudges. And that folks, again, if you didn't see it, go back on the page and check it out. It's very important because so many people come from that place where the TF or anyone, even in 3D, did this to me. And again, we're gonna refresh, it comes from a victim mentality outlook. Nobody wants to hear that, but it is the truth. Anytime you feel like someone can do something or mess you up or screw you up or whatever, in many cases with how things play out on this twin flame journey, you know, you are looking at it that way, you are taking the power away from yourself from being able to get to feeling better, doing better, living better, especially on this journey. So a refreshing, a refreshing going here. When you're looking at it that way, you give away your power to do anything about your circumstance. You are in a place where you are not responsible for what's going on with you and how you feel. And folks, you are putting that out to everyone else out there that someone else, something else, somewhere else even is responsible for how you feel. And that is simply not the truth. When you take ownership, when you take ownership of anything that happens to you, everything starts to change. So when we're talking about the victim mentality, which is where holding grudges comes from, as I mentioned, you can see people just going sometimes days, weeks, months, years even, after year after year, holding on to grudges of things that happen with certain people. A lot of times there's misinformation. A lot of times there's misunderstanding, but they're gonna hold on to it because they're gonna make others responsible for how they feel. Is that you? When we're talking about boundaries, folks, like I said, there is boundaries, but boundaries have nothing absolutely zero to do with anyone else. Your boundaries is entirely your responsibility and also your joy. And when I say your joy, what I'm saying right there is that you get to decide based on your boundaries, not what people are gonna do with your boundaries, that has nothing to do with it, based on your boundaries and what you're going to do with it. That's your joy. You can either look at it as there's this boundary and someone crossed my boundary and he fucked me up, she fucked me up, whatever you wanna call it. They did this, they did that. No, folks, boundaries are for you. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this today is because there is a line definitely between the two and a lot of people confuse them. When we're talking about boundaries, we're basically talking about what you will and will not tolerate. That's called tolerance. So when you have your boundaries, let's just use an example. Say your, your boundary is about uh, being around people that's not gonna put you down. Say, let's just use that as an example. And a lot of times when we have groups of friends, you know, you get to talking, you get to hanging out, you get to start joking around and laughing, and sometimes there's people that just for fun to make other people laugh, they're gonna put you down, they're gonna razz you. We'll use that as a perfect example. Now, can it hurt? Yeah, sure it can.
can. I'm not talking about it not hurting or people doing or saying things that maybe you don't have a reaction to. Of course you can. But there also are times and there's people that you can have this banter going on with that sometimes other people will be around and they'll be like, oh my gosh, that was so offensive. And yet you're there and you're laughing and you're joking because you didn't take it personal. So when we're talking about a situation like that, it's very clear to see what we're talking about. Either you can react to it or you don't react to it and you just keep going with it. It is tolerance. If that's something that doesn't shake your boat or rock your boat, that's perfectly fine. But if it does, if it does, and say you had a conversation with this person and they're gonna continue to do it, is he crossing your boundaries? Absolutely not. You're moving the fence back every single time because you're tolerating it. Even though it, it, it has you feeling like shit resultantly because you haven't figured out how not to respond, or maybe it does. It Maybe it does hurt your feelings and that's okay too. But because you keep tolerating it, you're moving that fence back. You're moving your boundaries back. And that's why we talk about boundaries in a sense <clears throat> that when you keep moving that, that fence back, especially, especially if that's what you're applying here on the Twin Flame journey, you will continue to tolerate these things. You will continue to feel like absolute shit. The TF, the other people, 3D, no one's doing anything to you. It's what you tolerate. And the big question here, the big takeaway here that we're gonna talk about is why do we tolerate? Bottom line, folks, we tolerate because we don't want the other person to leave. That's what it typically, almost 100% of the time is. We tolerate it because we feel like we have to, because it's easier and better to tolerate this bullshit, which it is, it doesn't matter if it's 3D or the TF, it, it's easier to tolerate this bullshit than have them walk out of your life. Let me tell you right now, let me tell you right now, right there is the fear-based energy that you are going to go over and keep pulling your boundaries back because you'd rather not someone someone walk out or leave or ghost or whatever. It's okay. If you are honoring your boundaries, that is, is the first, first and biggest step to self-love, folks. That's what this journey is about. It's about you. It's not about what the TF thinks of you or anyone else. It doesn't matter what they think. It's about you honoring yourself and knowing that just doesn't float with me anymore. Sometimes it can. Sometimes it can for years. And then one day you decide that no, it just doesn't float with me anymore. That is becoming the very first steps of learning how to love yourself. Because your boundary folks, your boundaries, they are your, what is the word? Oh my God, I just went, I just lost the word. It is your relationship with yourself. The boundaries that you keep is the relationship you hold with yourself. Now, when you can keep your boundaries and you can start honoring yourself, loving yourself, you take all your power back and no one and nothing else and nothing in this world can ever take that away from you again. Can you fluctuate back and forth while you're learning? Absolutely, but typically, as was in my journey, this started to happen to me years ago, years before I found myself on the Twin Flame journey, that when I started to take charge and responsibility for how I feel and what I do and my boundaries, I took charge of everything which is what this journey is about, folks. This journey is about you. It's not about people doing shit to you. It's not about people trying to make you do this or that or make you feel like crap. It's about you. It's about what you tolerate. It's about what you honor yourself enough with to say, that's enough. I don't need to do that anymore. I don't need to put up with that anymore. And I certainly don't need to swallow and tolerate that any anymore so keep that in mind rooted in moving your boundaries back is almost always about doing something so that another person doesn't leave doesn't walk doesn't ghost 
And on this journey, on the twin flame journey, be absolutely clear that that is your fear-based energy. That is the cause and all these other pieces and parts, excuse me, of the twin flame journey and the fear-based energy that's making you feel the way you feel. Alrighty, folks, we're going to send you off on this Sunday. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless. Ahui ho and malama pono. Bye, everybody.